Luca Ratanasio, the Italian ambassador to the Democratic Republic of the Congo, was killed on the 22nd of February 2021 when a World Food Program delegation traveling on a field visit was attacked by armed individuals. The two-vehicle convoy with seven people was traveling in the Congolese province of North Kivu, from the province's capital of Goma to a WFP school feeding program in Rushuru, a town 70 kilometers north of Goma, on a route that would have taken the vehicles through Virunga National Park. Italian ambassador Luca Atanasio was one of the three men killed. The attack occurred at 10.15 a.m. local time near the townships of Kibumbar and Kanyamahoro. The WFPN North Kivu Governor Kali Enzanzu said the convoy did not have a security escort at the time of the attack. The convoy carrying Ambassador Atanasio was travelling on a stretch of National Route 2 in the Virunga National Park when it was stopped by armed gunmen. The attackers killed one person at the scene, identified as Congolese United Nations driver Mustafa Milimbo. The other members of the delegation were led into the bush by the armed assailants where an exchange of gunfire ensued. In the exchange of gunfire, Ambassador Atanasio and his security, 30-year-old Carabinieri Vittorio Iacovacci, were mortally wounded. Others traveling in the convoy were also injured. Atanasio was shot in the abdomen and succumbed to his injuries before arriving at a hospital in Goma. According to Prosecutor Alberto Paoletti, Autopsies showed that Atanasio and Ayakovachi were killed in a shootout rather than by execution-style murder. The bodies of Atanasio and Ayakovachi were repatriated to Italy via military aircraft and were met by Prime Minister Mario Draghi in a small ceremony on the tarmac. Draghi asked the United Nations and the World Food Programme to open an investigation into the attack. President of the Democratic Republic of the Congo Felix Shisekedi sent a letter to Atanasio's widow Zakia Saddiki, saying his government had started an investigation in Goma, so that light is shed on these heinous crimes as soon as possible. Italian Minister of Foreign Affairs Luigi Di Mio said, The circumstances of this brutal attack are still unclear and no effort will be spared to shed light on what happened. A group of Italian investigators went to Goma in coordination with a prosecutorial investigation. That started in Rome. Several Italian newspapers ran front-page tributes to those who were killed. Turin-based La Stampa ran the headline, Luca and Vittorio. The best of Italy, Pope Francis expressed his sorrow for the disappearance of these servants of peace and law. Congolese authorities accused the Democratic Forces for the Liberation of Rwanda of the killing. They denied responsibility and condemned the attack. On 5 March 2021, Melania Asani William, the attorney who was investigating the deaths of the three men, was murdered by unknown gunmen during an ambush.